Hello, I'm trans and I like trans TikTok. Hey Spuds, how's it going? It's Jamie, welcome back to another video. Your first video on the channel, I don't know, but either way, welcome and welcome to this installment of trans TikToks. I'm trans, I like trans TikToks, I like watching trans TikToks, I like trans jokes and seeing trans people doing cool things and just living their lives and milestones and happiness from trans people, yay. So I hope whether you're trans or not, you will enjoy this video and reacting to these trans TikToks with me. I will never use they them pronouns for one person. <laughs> oh, what happened there? <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the amount of times that this happens. Everybody uses they, them, their in a singular way all the time and you never notice. And people have only ever started complaining about the single use of they, them since trans people and non-binary people became more known <laughs> in society and more talked about. And it's like, oh well, uh, this feels like an easy thing to pick on. We don't like gender neutral pronouns. They, them, it's grammatically incorrect to use for one person. No, it's not. You just feel like it's wrong when it comes to trans people. You've been using it in a singular way your whole life. <laughs> Still getting used to having no tibbies, like... <laughs> oh my gosh, this takes me back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's a very, it's a very strange thing. It's very, like you go from this with the towel to, to down here and you're like, and honestly, as right as it felt when I had top surgery, it was so strange to like walk out the bathroom with the towel around my waist and not round up here. And I was like, hello, <laughs> this is happening. How have you never had a pregnancy scare with a girlfriend? <laughs> well, I mean, yes, that, that will do it. Mm -hmm. If your girlfriend is not a trans woman, yeah. Questions I get asked as a transgender girl. What's down there? Wait, are you transitioning from female to male? <laughs> Is that your real face, real hair? Uh, <laughs> oh, I hate these questions. What have you got down there? And then yeah, transitioning the other way. That's really a thing because there's a lot of people out there who do not think that trans people can possibly look like in a typical way for their gender. So many people have been like, to me, oh, you must be a trans woman because there's no way you're a trans guy and you transitioned to a guy because you look like a guy. And it's like, hello, yes. <laughs> Uh, medically transitioning does change your appearance. <laughs> In 2012, my wife came out as transgender. Ooh. Now I have an amazing husband living his authentic life. We even renewed our vows as husband and wife. <gasps> oh, oh, I love it. Oh, I think that's really cute. I mean, there's nothing wrong with, it's sad, but there's nothing wrong if a relationship can't work after somebody transitions as long as it's respectful, but I just, I love seeing it work out. And renewing the vows, that's so cool. Oh. You're still a woman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why, why is it a thing? Is it, I think it's just like a general shared trait between transphobes that they use incorrect your all the time. Scariest thing about your hate comment was the bad grammar. <laughs> First time getting waxed after surgery and I wanted Vagina, to... Vagina, baby. What was it? Say so you have pretty vagina. I know, thank you. <laughs> so I'm very cute. proud of it. Did her waxes say you have a pretty vagina? I'm very proud of it. You should be. Congratulations, I'm very happy for you. That's so cute. I'd feel so awkward in that situation. I'd just be like, thanks, I don't really want to think about the fact you can see everything. But that's just me. Um, yeah, you take that compliment. How transitioning feels, Pixar edition. Oh, a dead plant, a leaf. Oh, I have that watering can. I literally have that watering can. Oh. Oh, it's coming back to How are they doing this? Did they actually bring a plant back to life for this TikTok? <laughs> oh, if only it were that easy. <laughs> 
We trans people, we're blossoming plants. I love that. <laughs> we're thriving. Transitioning is pouring water over your head from a very lovely watering can, might I add. And voila, tada, amazing. <laughs> that is kind of what it feels like. I like that. My husband is carrying our daughter. Whoa. I love this. Thirty-two weeks and counting down. Little little chicken and egg. Oh, that's so cool. Men, trans men, can carry babies, and it doesn't stop us from being men just because we can do that, and just because some might do that. Just still a man. I'm very happy for them. I think that's so cute. Walking to my stupid school in my stupid uniform in my stupid wrong body. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so? That was a true story. <laughs> a true story. Oh, uh, I like Lewis. I watched him on my trans summer like so many years ago. Seems like a cool guy. And he's funny. That was... <laughs> Oh God, there's something about that walk that just so perfectly encapsulates the feeling. That's what I used to do, wearing a skirt. And I was like, oh, I'm so grumpy about this. But whenever I tried to not wear it, I got bullied for not wearing a skirt. To be feminine, I thought I needed long hair. I had so much dysphoria over my hairline. <gasps> oh, you go. I had so much anxiety and shame. You got this for three years, I covered my head in hats and headbands. It looks good. It looks so good. Even swimming, I stayed covered. I preached self-freedom and authenticity, but I wasn't allowing myself either. Now I'm free. And bold. <laughs> It looks so good. You be you. Do what you want to do. Do what makes you comfortable. You look amazing and thank you so much for sharing. I think that's really cool. My older sister knowing damn well I'm transgender when I caught her crying and can't get the words out. What's up, bitch? Get the fuck out of the closet. I have a bit of beard envy. That makes it easier, doesn't it, when family and friends already know and it's like, yeah, come on. We know. You can tell us. It's all good. Download dating apps for the first time since transitioning. Has to put straight. <laughs> That's a really interesting one, isn't it? I like, I identified as a lesbian before I transitioned and then as a straight guy for a while. Now I, I've realized I'm bisexual, which is what I originally thought my sexual orientation was. And then it all just got a big confusing mess when I was figuring out my gender identity. Just for me personally, it's odd because you're still part of the LGBT plus community, but in a different way. And I've heard of people feeling like they lost part of their community and their connections when they transitioned because they went from identifying as someone who was gay to someone whose sexual orientation was straight, even though they're still within the community because they're trans. It's an interesting one. Doctors not knowing I'm What's trans. this? <gasps> okay, I like it, Picasso. Oh, that's like my biggest fear. I would need whoever I was seeing to 100% know I'm trans and what surgeries I'd had before they looked down there. Like, I'm not, I'm not leaving that up for like a surprise or anything. You are gonna know what's going on because I need to know that you are okay with it. <laughs> Gives me a bit of stress. Transition from fear to me when I was younger. So I appreciate this. You look like a sprinkles guy. You look like you were a girl. I'm just... It, that's not a nice thing to say. Somebody comes up to you and you're like, yeah, I could tell. Or yeah, oh yeah, that, yeah, looks like that. That's what happened. That's weird. No, don't say that. And then last one, I found this as a little bonus. It's not specifically about a trans person, but it's about pronouns. D let's just watch it. What's your pronouns? I don't do pronouns. Um, so you identify by nothing but your name? Yeah. So if I said he, that'd be incorrect? Um, that would be correct. But so I you do have pronouns? Yeah, I mean, obviously, if somebody's referring to <laughs> where I, you know, if somebody's referring... You've been bamboozled. 
<laughs> I just love it. Thank you, person with wonderful accent, for talking about that. That is the perfect representation of when you hear transphobes and people being like, oh, I don't like pronouns, or oh, I don't do pronouns, or oh, pronouns are a trans activist thing, don't do pronouns, don't put them in your bio, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, how do I address you? And also, pronouns aren't just he, him, she, her, they, them. It's things like I and you as well. So you do use pronouns all the time. It's very, very difficult to avoid using pronouns. <laughs> and that is all the TikToks for today. Did we enjoy that? Which one was your favourite? Go comment down below. Let's have a chat in the comments. And yeah, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Much love. Bye.